Hi guys, what's up? Today we are in my bathroom because I wanted to do a video showing you what I keep in my shower, what I keep over here in these cabinets, and then what I keep under the sink as well. So if you guys are interested to see what I keep in my bathroom, then please keep on watching. So, ow, I'm hitting things. I got the tiles going from the flooring all the way up into the wall of the shower. We got brown towels, this white little soap dispenser that is from Amazon, and then that's my toothbrush holder. Over here we have this huge cabinet that I bought from Amazon as well in white, and I like to just keep tissues in this little section here. This is Q-tips, clean out your ears. And this is actually an odor deodorizer. And that is an odor deodorizer as well, an odor neutralizer. <laughs> I got that from TJ Maxx. So I'm going to go over what's in here. This is just like kind of what it looks like right now. That's Matt's top side. <laughs> Not much in there. And then this is my side on the bottom. I'm going to sit down and go through everything with you, but that's what it looks like. Um, toilet. <laughs> Inside, this is where I like to keep all of my stuff that I use in the shower and sometimes it likes to fall because Matt just took a shower and everything's all soaking wet but I like this little stand I got it from TJ Maxx and I'm able to put everything that I need in the shower in here shower head and you can see out into our backyard which is nice that way when I'm showering I can enjoy the scenery and then down here in the cabinets I have stuff as well I have two baskets full of things that I try to organize somewhat. I mainly use these all the time. Like I always have to have these near me, with me, on me for when I want to put my hair up. It's just getting annoying. I don't want it in my face anymore. Um, and when I go to bed, I usually put my hair up as well. So I like to keep these in my cabinet. So next up is all of my million dollar tan stuff. I am a big fan. This, if you ever wonder why I look tan, it's because I was using this stuff right here. And this is the Blend Friend Barrier Cream. So this is what I'm, I put over like my knees, my elbows, and stuff like that. And then I, I use the actual Million Dollar Tan, tan <laughs> Mermaid Mousse. Extreme dark sunless tanning mousse. It says it's extreme, but it's really not that extreme. I mean, it's pretty good. Like, you can obviously tell that I have a tan. I'll either use my little tanning mitt which is so dirty now or this little sponge applicator to apply the tanning lotion and then what I did when I was on vacation at the beach I used this baby right here and this will basically make your skin look golden and give you a really nice glow this is the million dollar tan all that shimmers dry oil shimmer you just apply a little bit like all over and just blend it in really nicely it's a little scary at first because it's very very serious like the color is extreme um, yeah, this is more extreme than this, I would say, but when you mix the two together, I mean, it just looks absolutely beautiful. So next up, I have all of my hair products that I use on a regular basis. So the first thing is my Purology Color Fanatic Multitasking Hair Beautifier. It has made a huge difference in my hair. Like, immediately when I spray it in my hair after I take a shower, it feels silky, smooth, and then when I blow dry it, it doesn't look frizzy. I mean, this has definitely been, like, a hair saver for me. What I use after that is my Cheese Silk Infusion. This is a heat protectant as well. It just adds more shine into the hair. Kind of weird, but when I'm braiding my hair, I like to use It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. Or actually, when I'm doing any kind of like updo in any shape or form, I like to use this product because it dampens the hair, but not enough to where it's soaking wet and it dries very fast so it, it allows me to be able to work with my hair without having little pieces sticking out every which way and it's um, it dries so it doesn't make your braid look wet or greasy or anything like that or like your updo look gross it just holds it in place and it helps me style my hair easier I also have my Patisse dry shampoo which I recently got I have not um, tried this before and I did like a few days ago and I really like it because it actually dries the color of your hair this one's in a dark deep brown. So my favorite um, hairspray at the moment is this one. It's the Sebastian Shaper Hairspray. It really does a great job of holding my style but still letting my hair be flexible, you know? Like I can still move it around. It still feels soft. It still looks soft. Um, next up I have 
deodorants and perfumes. The perfume I like to keep in my cabinet is my Victoria's Secret Dream Angel perfume. And it's really pretty. If you look at it, it has wings on the back. It smells good. It's very, It's got a very sweet smell to it. And Matt's mom actually gave this to me. I pretty much spray it on me every day. So if you want to know what I smell like, go pick up that perfume. That's exactly what I smell like all the time. And these are my two favorite deodorants at the moment. Um, this is the Secret Clinical Strength Light and Fresh Advanced Salad and it protects against stress sweat. And this one I really like for when I'm working out. It's got a stronger scent to it so it really protects against odor. This one is the Degree Shower Clean Invisible Solid. Yeah. So the last thing that I have in my cabinets that belongs to me is my skincare products. So I have my Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. I do like to clean everything off when I wake up and I use that most of the time. And this is my Simple Cleansing Facial Wipes. I use them every night to take off my makeup. They take off waterproof makeup pretty well. Any type of eye makeup, foundation, blush, bronzer, whatever it is you have on your face, it takes it off. So then for my moisturizer, my favorite is my CeraVe Moisturizing Cream for normal to dry skin. I've gone through a lot of different moisturizers, but this one is by far my favorite. It's very gentle on the skin. If I need like a little extra moisture, I will use my Facial Radiance Overnight Mask. This is from First Aid Beauty. And I will show you guys what this looks like. Um, so it's it literally is like a mask, a moisture mask. You just apply it all over your skin and then go to bed and then in the morning you just wash your face like you usually do. So the only acne medication that I use is my Differin Gel that I actually went to a dermatologist to get. I think it's great. It keeps my acne away, so it makes me happy. Let's get the first basket out. Alright, here's the first one. This one's kind of random. For some reason I have a brush for Nico and Minnie, my two cats. Um, I have a ton of Intuition razors ready to use. Nail clippers, three nail clippers to be exact, some hair clipping shears, and then Nico and Minnie's brush for fleas. <laughs> we got to check them for fleas. I don't know why I have them in there. It's kind of random. So in the second basket, I have tampons and panty liners and stuff like that. Gotta have those. Every girl's gotta have those. Extra body wash. This is from Irish Spring. A mouthwash. Twilight Woods body lotion. Some more pads. <laughs> Uh, deodorant for Matt, body wash for Matt, and that's about it in this little basket right here. Well, it's not very little, it's actually pretty big. <laughs> this one's in the other basket that I have down there. First, I have Q-tips. This is an air freshener spray. Extra toothbrushes. I have my Embryolisse moisturizer. This is my backup for when I run out of my oil later moisturizer, which I like to use in the morning. Toothpaste. Cotton balls, more toothpaste, my Sigma brush that I use to get off makeup sometimes. I don't really like to use brushes though, like the Clarisonic and stuff like that. It's a little too much for my skin and it actually ends up causing breakouts rather than preventing them. <laughs> so I don't like using them very often, but I keep it just in case because it's really nice. I have some extra simple facial cleansing wipes, some extra deodorant. I also have these cute little pads that you can wipe your face with. I think I got them from like CVS. They were super cheap. I have my Bare Minerals Exfoliating Treatment Cleanser. I love this stuff. I will occasionally use it, maybe like once a month. I really don't use it that often. That's why it's under my sink. It's pretty good. It's a very nice, soft um, exfoliator. Some masks in here. This is a pore minimizer mask. Cobella? Cobella? I might be saying it right. Lavender and pomegranate. These are some Frownies eye gels. And then I have my baby oil to remove makeup as well. So that's it for what is under my sink. These are kind of wet, so I'm just going to quickly show you guys these. This is my intuition razor and my little body scrubber thingamajinger. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> the soft soap, sweet honeysuckle, and orange peel moisturizing body wash with moisture beads. It smells really good too. Yeah. From Million Dollar Tan, I have my body buffers. It's in the Tingly Peppermint Scrub. For my hair, I usually like to use my shampoo from Pantene Pro-V. It's dripping all over me. But this is the Damage Detox with Mimosa Mint Oil in it. And then for conditioner, I like to use my Pantene Damage Detox Daily Rebuilding Conditioner. 
Um, and I'll usually use those two when my hair is feeling very, very dry and it really just completely repairs it and feels amazing. It smells amazing. I also like to use my Pureology shampoo. This is the Strength Cure. So I usually like to use this one when I feel like there's a lot of buildup in my hair. It feels greasy because this actually has no sulfates in it. So it really helps to completely clear out everything. My Neutrogena Triple Moisture Deep Recovery Hair Mask. I love using this stuff. It's honestly amazing. I usually have like three backups of this because it's so good and I don't ever want to run out. My Chesame Rejuvenating Mud Mask. This mask is a little bit different than the Neutrogena one. I don't think it works as well, but it's kind of fun to use something different from time to time. This is what it looks like. It's a, it's a lot thicker and I think it needs a little bit more time to sit in your hair. It says to only use it for three to five minutes, but when I use it for three to five minutes and rinse it out, I don't really feel a difference. So I, I usually like to just let this sit in my hair for a while before I rinse it out. Gotta wipe off my hands. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is it for what is in my bathroom. I would actually love to see what is in your bathroom, not to sound stalkerish, but I think that would be cool. So if you guys want to do this video, I tag you. I actually have three other videos planned for this week. And oh my god, I forgot to say, the VMAs last night were crazy. How crazy were the VMAs last night? We gotta talk about that. Comment below what you thought about the VMAs. Five stars. Woo. Five stars. Woo. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Okay, so I guess that's as far as it goes. Yeah, that seems about right. There you go. We're gonna swift everything. Swift everything. too short for this. <laughs>